So today I came to Universal Orlando to explore the wizarding world of Harry Potter and I'm gonna tell you some of the secrets you can find in the park. Interactive ones that perform real life spells, great references and easter eggs from the books and the movies. All of that I'm gonna tell you about it in this video. So let's start with Muggle London. So every school year at Hogwarts, of course, starts in the hidden alley of Diagon Alley, which is hidden in Muggle London. It's supposed to be boring, but there's a few magical secrets that I'm gonna show you right now. So guys, our first hidden secret here in the Wizarding World, Harry Potter, it's here. So this telephone booth has a secret number. It's the number 62442. If you dial it, you can actually call the Minister of Magic and get a message from them. Six. Yes. Two. Four. Four. And two. Welcome to the Ministry of Magic. We apologize, but a container of bewitched muggle artifacts is broken open in the atrium, so the visitor's entrance is closed at this time. The Ministry of Magic wishes you a pleasant day. So the next hidden secret here in the London part of the Wizarding World of Harry Potter is a sneaky creature that opens the window, opens the curtains and just says hello. So. This creature is Creature, which is Sirius Black family's uh, house elf. And to do so, you have to knock on the door and you will see him appear. So to get into Diagon Alley, you have to come right from the Leicester Square Station. The first time I saw this a few days ago, my mind was blown. Welcome guys. So it really feels like you are there and it's so immersive. I just love like all the buildings. We actually got a little bit of rain which reminded to the real weather in London so it was pretty immersive by the way. Of course every wizard needs it's one, so we're gonna go to the most famous one show in the whole wizarding world, which is Ollivander's right here. So we have right here different ones from different wizards from the uh, series. We have the one of Draco Malfoy, let's see how it looks like. Pretty nice. Simple. I'm gonna show you what all ones have. So you'll get the wand right here in this great mount, just like in the movies, and then you'll find this map, which I'm gonna tell you why, uh, what use it has later on. Now I just found the wand of Benadryx the Strange. This one is pretty different. It has a more interesting shape than Dracos and Dracos. It's pointed down, it's kind of weird. Now, this is the one we chose and is the elder one, the most powerful one in the world. So the ones cost around uh, $60 if you buy them with the interactive option and that will allow you to actually perform spells in the park, all around the park. And the way you do it is they have these signs on the floor. You need these maps. And uh, this is a map right here of Hogsmeade, which we're gonna explore later. But this right here, it's diagonally. And uh, there's certain spots right here where you can find the places where you can perform the magic. I'm gonna show them to you right now and let's go explore. So I'm gonna try this interactive one in the in the uh, spot right here. Reparo! It went 
bad again. I, I have to practice some more in Hogwarts. So one of the prime locations, and actually, as Hagrid says, the safest place in the world after Hogwarts, it's Gringotts Bank. In the interior of Gringotts Bank, you can actually find one of the best rides in the whole park. It's a 3D simulator with some roller coaster system. Very high tech rides like you can find uh, all around Universal. To be honest, rides at Universal are just amazing. And uh, the ride was incredible. It was a spectacle of 3D plus uh, real sets. So we just got outside of Gringotts, the ride. It was, it was awesome. Everything was in 3D. What do you think about it? Wow, it was so good. And the whole like, there was a time that was a roller coaster. So it turned into a roller coaster. And yeah, then, it was like too, yeah. like it was too hard. I thought that I thought that it was like very easy, but no, no, it was like too hard. For any uh, children, this might not be the one, uh, but it was incredible. Like the theming and Voldemort is there. So that's if you want to see Voldemort, that's where you can find it. Instead, I don't know if we are in Hogwarts or we are in Transformers. You know, because <laughs> with our with these sunglasses. <laughs> yes. <laughs> So guys, one of the secrets in Diagon Alley is the dark, the obscure alley of Nocturne Alley. Not a lot of people know how to get here, but just to give you a little bit of a, of a context, it's right in front of Flourish and Box, so it's between Gringotts and the entrance, right here. <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna show you this place, it's the darkest place, and literally dark. You're gonna be, I don't know if you guys will be able to see this, but it's very, very, very dark. So welcome guys to the dark alley. anywhere in the wizarding world and we have things like Beatrix's dagger which she used to kill uh, Toby in one of the last movies. This is the banishing cabinet that Draco Malfoy uses to get the dark inside the castle. So we have it here and the easter egg is if you come here you can actually hear a bird inside of the cabinet, just like in the Harry Potter and the, the Half-Blood Prince when Malfoy was, Malfoy was transporting the bird to the Death Eaters right here. And I would totally recommend you guys to come here, it's a magical experience, the rides are so immersive, the, the, the whole decorations and buildings are accurate from the movies, so definitely come here to have a real experience if you are a Harry Potter fan like I am. So guys, that's it from uh, the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. One big secret will be that I am not there right now. I'm not in Orlando, I'm in New York. And this is the Harry Potter uh, store, which I totally recommend you guys to come. I needed to uh, record these bits for the video, but this is a great store here in New York, definitely, and totally recommend it too.